this is Dave Snyder at AFA Church. I wanna share a word with you today about how you can get victory, no matter what you're facing today, how you can walk in victory. In 1 John 5, 4, let me start with this. It says, whatever has been born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that's conquered the world, our faith. Listen, God gave you something. He gave you a gift. He put faith inside of you. And it's not just faith to, to sit in church and do nothing. He gave you faith so that you could do something, so that you could, he says, conquer the world. Because whatever's been born of God, and that's you, if you if you have been born again and you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you've been born again. And you, you've been born of God, that means he says anything born of God conquers the world. So you've been given something to use and it's your faith. So I wanna tell you, maybe you're facing something today, you're facing a situation or a problem or something going on in your life. I want you to know something today, you can walk in victory. How do I, how do, I do that? It sounds hard. Listen, the word he uses here, conquer. The word conquer, whatever's been born of God conquers the world. This is the victory that's conquered the world. It's the same Greek word as the word subdue. Subdue, you know, it, um, I had to look this up. And Noah Webster, he quotes it this way. He says, to conquer by force or the exertion of superior power. The superior power always makes the inferior have to bow, right? The inferior power always has to bow to the superior. You've been given something in you that's superior to anything that's in this world. You know, I one time stepped into a, a, um, a, a boxing ring to spar with someone, uh, I was at a karate class and my, I had taken my kids to this karate class and I was watching for a while and I thought, I'd like to do this too. And so I got in on it and the instructor said, hey, come here, you're gonna spar with me. I said, I don't wanna spar with you. I wanna spar with one of the kids because I know I can beat them. He said, no, you're gonna spar with me. He was a black belt, he was tough. He, 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 didn't, he didn't pull any punches with me. Uh, maybe he did, but it didn't feel like he did. And I want you to know, I got beat up pretty bad. I, I drove home that night and my eye was swollen shut. I couldn't see anything. The guy, the guy was tough with me. But listen, there was no question when I stepped in the ring, he was superior. There was no question. I felt inferior. But listen, the, the inferior will always bow to the superior. You might feel inferior today. You might be going through something and you feel like me in that boxing ring with a black belt. Listen, you might feel inferior, but the word of God says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Do you know what that means? That means you are not inferior, you are superior. You're the black belt and the devil's the guy who's never been in a boxing ring. You're the, you're the one who has been given the power because Jesus gave you his Holy Spirit and he gave it to you to dominate this world. Do you understand what this means? He says, he says, he says whatever has been born of God conquers or subdues the world. Listen, you were, you were put on this earth, Adam was put on this earth to rule it right? God told him that in Genesis 1 28. He said, he said, Adam, the whole earth has been given to you. And he blessed him. He said, be fruitful and, and multiply. And then he says, subdue the earth and then rule over it. Before you can rule over anything, you have to subdue it. And there might be something in your life today you have to subdue. How do I do that? You only do it by faith. You only do it by acting on the word of God in faith because God gave you faith, not just so that you could be saved as good as that is. If that was all it was for, it would be good enough. Thank God for our salvation, that's the most important thing. But listen, he gave you faith, not just only to be saved, but he says he gave you faith to conquer the world. That means there's, there might be situations that come against you and you think, I don't know what to do. He gave you faith to conquer it. There might be something that comes against you in your body, in your health uh, related area, and you say, I don't know what to do, but he gave you faith to conquer it. There might be something that comes up in your family. I don't know what to do. And you feel like you are inferior because you're looking at this situation that seems so big. Listen, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. He gave you your faith to conquer it. No matter what you're going through today, you are able to face it because of what Jesus has done for you. In Romans chapter five, verse 17 in the, in the Amplified Bible, it says, for if by one man's trespass, death reigned through that one, much more 
Surely will those who receive God's overflowing grace, His unmerited favor, and His free gift of righteousness put them in right standing with Himself, reign as kings in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? When, when you understand what He's saying here, it will change your life. Because He said, through one man's offense, that's Adam, one man sinned and lost everything. But Jesus came and through his grace and through the righteousness that he's given to us, he made you right standing with God again and he puts you back in your rightful place to reign as a king. And it doesn't say one day in heaven, it says to reign as a king in this life. God puts you on this earth with the intent for you to reign over your problems, for you to reign over your circumstances, for you to reign over the devil, to, for you to, to drive out demons and cast out demons and have authority. But listen, you only can live that way when you're walking by faith. Because so many times we look at our problems and our problems seem so big. But I want you to know something today. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. See, maybe, you're, maybe you say, I'm not reigning in life. I feel like I'm just scraping by. I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm under, I'm not over anything, I'm under, I've been, I've been put down. Listen, it's time for you to put some things in submission. Put some things in submission in your life. Maybe there's some things going on in your world, you need to take some authority over it because you've been given faith to conquer the world. This is the victory that's conquered the world, our faith. What are you facing today? Are you facing some problem? Are you facing a, a situation in your, in your family, a situation in your body? Use your faith today and you say, Lord, I thank you for what you've done for me. And you've made me able to reign in this life. You've made me able to subdue my problems and, and tackle these things, not, not because I'm greater, but because you're greater. You're the greater, you're the superior, Lord, over all these things. Get your eyes off of your problems and get your eyes on Jesus. Let me pray for you, Lord. I thank you for each person today that's watching. Lord, I thank you that your Holy Spirit will just go to work right now in the name of Jesus. We just unite our faith together and we say, Lord, heal. Lord, minister in these situations, whether it's binding relationships back together, whether it's, whether it's some problem in, in, a, in a life, Lord, in a job situation, whatever it is, we just turn it over to you and we thank you for the miracle working power of Jesus in our lives. Thank you, Lord, amen. Hey, God bless you today. I wanna encourage you, keep living the abundant life that Jesus came to give you.